Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraftastic. And lately I've been doing something a little different as far as planning. I haven't been doing from scratch spreads. You may have noticed I've been missing on YouTube as far as my plan with me. I've actually been working in this Happy Notes and using it as a planner. Um, I designed some inserts have vertical and horizontal and I also have monthly inserts I designed those to fit in the happy notes and I've actually really been enjoying using those inserts so that's what I'm going to do here today these are some stickers that I ordered from JD and Brooklyn that I will be using in the spread I'm going to start with the large doll version of the Love Yourself More, and she's kind of my inspiration for this week's spread. And here is the Colorful Boxes sticker book from Me and My Big Ideas or Mambi or Happy Planner or Create 365. Um, but this, I think, is the second version of Colorful Boxes. I have the first book also that I will be using. And I'm just flipping through, trying to decide what my color scheme is going to be. I kind of did this spread on the fly, last minute kind of thing. I didn't have any specific ideas for it um so there'll be a lot of flipping <laughs> just trying to decide what to do i'm going to use this top three sticker here to be able to note the main things that i really want to get done this week um and of course i turn it upside down so that i can line it up straight with that top line I've also slowed this down. It's in real time speed where I usually time lapse so that you can see everything that I'm doing if I manage to stay on the screen. But um, I have a little exclamation point sticker on my finger here and I'm looking for a box um, because I have an appointment on Thursday morning that I want to note and make sure that it stands out on my spread so that I don't forget. And here I'm going in and uh, dating the week just so I don't forget. I don't usually function on dates, I function on the days, but um, it's good to have those dates in there. Now I'm just looking for another box, a little bit bigger because we have an event Saturday that I need to note. And what's nice about these inserts is that they are lined, so if you're particular about laying down your stickers, it gives you a little guide to place your stickers as well as a guide when you're writing out your plans. It's gonna be a busy um, weekend, so I'm gonna place this little busy day sticker because things are gonna really start ramping up on Friday. And here I'm just looking for another box to use to note a lunch date. And I really should probably have looked for an actual lunch date stickers because that's something that I rarely do. 
go out to lunch, but for whatever reason, I really like the colorful boxes. So I'm just filling in my appointment Thursday morning, filling in that my mom's coming to town and that we're going to lunch on Friday. And we will be going to a showcase for the uh, end of the school year on Saturday. And as is tradition after performances or family events like that, we always go out to dinner. So we will be also going out to dinner after the showcase on Saturday. And here I'm using a colorful box to note that as well. When my mom comes to town, we usually um, do some type of big family dinner or so. And here I'm just listing out some of the things I need to do Monday morning. It seems like Mondays and Tuesdays are really my busiest days as far as running errands. Um, it's like I spend all weekend saying, okay, I need to do this, I need to, to do that. And I end up putting everything on Monday and Tuesday um, just to go ahead and get it done. So Tuesday morning, I may, need to make sure that I fill up my truck with gas. And I would like to go and check Joann's for the Wrong Wrong release and also go and check and see what's going on at Hobby Lobby. Um, I've been seeing a few Hobby Lobby clearance hauls, so I'm going to go check that out. And then on Thursday it tends to be my clean day. I do clean a little every day, but I do more on Thursdays than I do most other days. And I think it's just because I'm getting ready for the weekend and I don't want to spend my whole weekend cleaning. And then there's also a special dress rehearsal for the showcase on Thursday evening. So I'm noting that because Thursday is not a usual ballet day for us. So I definitely need to make note of it. I did have locks at one time and I don't have them anymore, but um, May 17th would be a lock anniversary for me. So even though I don't have them anymore, I still wanted to make a note of that. And I'm planning to go get my oil changed on Wednesday morning. Hopefully I'll stick to that. I really need to get that done. It's just kind of the, one of the most boring things <laughs> that I have to do. Um, and now I'm back to my florals. I think this is the fun floral sticker book that I recently hauled. And I'm just adding a little floral decor to basically pretty things up. <laughs> Make the, the spread more interesting to me so that I'll actually use it. And now I'm going in to note the top three things I want to do this week. Um, I'm going to do two of them now. The two that I added were declutter and clean desk. And I have a few things that I want to declutter. So 
I'm always looking at it and saying, I need to take care of that. I need to take care of that. So hopefully I'll get it done this week. And here we go with the JDM Brooklyn Neutral Icon stickers. This is a television. I really like these stickers. They're neutral, but they're not monochrome. So they have very neutral tones to them. And they're not like the typical icons that are so teeny tiny. These are a nice size that you could use in smaller planners, but also won't get lost on the page in a bigger planner like a full-size happy planner or even these half sheet this half sheet size so and I just really like the way they look they don't look like your typical icon stickers so trash outs I need to set the trash by the road on Wednesday afternoons um, usually my oldest son does that but sometimes he's working or forgets so I still try to remind myself to make sure it gets done and I'm also noting that I need to text my lawn man to see what day he can come this week it's starting to get to that season here in Florida where the grass is growing really rapidly so he'll be coming more often and I need to vacuum um, so I'll vacuum Tuesday and probably also again on Thursday. And I also need to do a post office run to check my box and to drop off some orders. So I'm just noting that there and adding the Happy Mail icon from the JD and Brooklyn stickers. And also I'm going to use one of the payday stickers here. I decided not to use the shopping cart even though I will be doing some grocery shopping this week. Um, for the most part with these inserts I haven't really been using a lot of stickers but I'm going back to my word stickers this week so I'm noting all of the ballet classes rehearsals performances everything with the ballet stickers what's kind of awesome is that after this showcase on Saturday, ballet season is over. Um, so we get a few weeks break, but we will be participating in the summer program for a few weeks. But after that, there'll be another break before the school season starts again. So I'm looking forward to the little break in between. So all those ballet sessions are noted. Here I'm using a YouTube sticker to note what I'll be doing on Sunday. I pretty much watch YouTube on Saturday and Sunday. I pretty much watch YouTube all the time. Um, I just don't find most of the shows on TV that interesting. Here I'm noting my Publix trip for the week. I normally would go on Thursday, but since my mom is coming, I'm pretty sure she's going to want to go. So I'll just push that back until Friday. But back to TV. I was watching Charmed and I just kind of fell off it wasn't really that good maybe I should pick it up again I don't know but since Scandal I haven't really been that interested in any of the shows that they have on TV I tried to watch that Whiskey Cavalier show and I didn't really like that either and I see it's been canceled um, I also noted that I need to go and look for a new purse just an everyday purse the bag that I'm carrying now I I'm really sick of it. It's really aggravating me. <laughs> it's a backpack style um, 
purse, but it constantly slips off my shoulder. And it's to the point now that I definitely need to go and find me a new bag, everyday bag. If anyone has any suggestions about that, please let me know in the comments below. I like a bag with lots of pockets and compartments and it definitely has to have a closure on the top. So if it's a tote style bag, I need it to close completely if possible. Um, so that when it falls off of wherever, all of my stuff doesn't come tumbling out. But here I'm using um, another one. I think this is Gold Star Quotes, maybe. Um, and just adding some of the deco from it. I wanted to put a quote. You got this girl seems like an appropriate quote for the week because I've been having some issues. <laughs> so yeah, and, and I'm picking out a positive vibes text sticker here just to place down, just to remind myself to not be so down in the dumps all the time. Try to be positive, so. And that is it with that. I'm going back to add a few more florals. I could probably fill up this whole spread with florals, but I try to restrain myself and not do that. But I'm gonna add a few more um, just to fill in some of the holes and to tie the layout together. It seems a little all over the place to me, so I figured the florals would help tie things together a little more, make it more cohesive. I'm just gonna cut this one in half and put half on one side and half on the other. So I think just adding those little floral accents helps bring it all together. And I'm considering adding more, but I won't. <laughs> This spread is a little more decorative and involved than what I've been doing. And if you'd like to keep up with my planner spreads, even when I'm not doing YouTube videos, you can also follow me on Instagram where I post it almost every day. <laughs> and that is it for this spread. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it into my happy notes. I know everyone enjoys the from scratch planner spreads, but I just felt like it was time to change things up a bit. And I've really been enjoying using these inserts and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.